what's going on everybody i hope everyone's having a fantastic evening a fantastic afternoon a fantastic pre-noon no matter where you are in the world oh my god i'm asan piker and it brings me Hello, members of the great next community i mean great pleasure by stream for Sanabai is a stream of well Tell you after seven whole days and being the most racist that this is the Hasanabi broadcast coming to you live from incredibly cold, treacherous terrain, not so sunny, California, Los Angeles, folks. We are live and alive. And I hope all the boys, I hope all the girls, and I hope all of the NBs are having a fantastic one. Because, because... It Here's is ad break brought to you by chat. Tuesday, December 21st, 2021, 11.35 a.m. And I am, uh, of course, late, despite the fact that it took me a whole ass week. And I apologize for that tardiness. I apologize. I'm a, I'm a white man, as you all know. Sometimes we get a little tardy, Definitely you know? Lossy. And partially because we just, we believe we own shit. Folks, seven days ago, something, I did something. Okay? smile many of you know what that thing was some of you don't probably most of you do though because i was not around for the past seven days when i wanted to be seven days ago i was banned for the most egregious the most unacceptable action that anyone on any platform could have ever engaged in. That's right. Now, I'm going to issue a trigger warning here to describe to you the things that I did. And then I'm going to apologize. I'm going to apologize for my actions. That's right. Surviving it all started when... Like a boss less than three. I was doing the same thing I always do, you know, put on a video and walk away for three and a half hours because, you know, that's what all my haters think I do on a daily basis. I was, Wait. I, I turn on MasterChef, which is the new meta. I don't even know if it's still the new meta. I haven't been on Twitch in the past seven days. And two of my moderators, not your average African, and Fizz, got banned in succession, asked. in a row, out of nowhere. And I, ride or die, for my community. So, of course, in the most hard-headed way possible, I consider this to be an unacceptable thing. 14 months hassle, missed you, King. And uh, pushed Twitch's buttons because of the very same thing I've talked about a million times over, okay? About the term trigger hey, warning. Hello, fellow kiddos. The term... That's right. Wait, hold on. Does this work? Hold on one second. Does that work? The term... Did I beep it? Annie on my unbanned day on my unbanned day. Anyway, <laughs> I was trying to beep it. Yes, the delicious, saltine good, the crunchy, thank God, sometimes cheesy, but oftentimes bland, baked good. Brought to you by Nabisco. In many instances, the moderators were banned for that term for using the word against. A white person. Senpai. I thought this was unacceptable because I do not believe that uh, any white person in all sincerity is genuinely upset, frustrated, angry, or offended by this term. Many of my naysayers that uh, whipped up themselves in a frenzy over the past week especially over the weekend certainly were doing touchdown end zone dances joking about how not severe the term was and how they were just memeing for the most part and that twitch is a bunch of idiots 
for even following through on such a pathetic, idiotic capitulation to white fragility, oftentimes pushed by and we alive some of the, us. you know, uh, uh, some of the most insanely racist individuals, as you all probably saw on the internet. And other times pushed by maybe people who were whipped up into a frenzy because they themselves were being way back baby agitated and were being talked to by those who were interested in pushing for white identity politics but i've learned my lesson folks boys girls and bees i've learned my lesson i am now a white identitarian that's right white is right i say i myself make a pledge to never use the term right ever right. again unless i am referencing a delicious bland unseasoned saltine the snack i mean that's right i've learned seven days went by when i was banned i lost my mind w pretty much because uh as much as we talk about parasocial relationships i myself as many of you know have a reliance on twitch streaming to create some kind of organization in my life and to give me a sense of purpose seven days 15 hours and 23 minutes so not having days, the community that i've cultivated pogo, seven days, to rely on on a daily basis three minutes late pogo. made me go a little fucking uh crazy it made me go bananas i mean i'm serious i was able to still you know stream i did the ludwig stream let's go i did the h3h3 leftovers podcast that we did live you know i'm sure some of you guys saw that but uh it wasn't enough because you know i it wasn't my community it wasn't my chat i i really did miss Daycare all of time. this i missed it a lot actually okay i also finished a video game many of you wanted me to play called disco elysium it was brilliant we'll talk about that in a little bit anyway Latellite Pogo. the thing i wanted to mention before i tweet out that i'm live and alive once again after seven days holy shit and it does feel really good to be back is that look i've learned i have learned my lesson i am proud of my heritage i'm proud i have Let's you could say white pride you know i've learned my lesson not to uh not to ever offend white people ever again. Oh, brother. I've learned that looking at the online uh, discourse around this, especially on Reddit, I learned that actually the C word is just as severe as the N word, if not worse. Because everybody knows not to say the N word, but nobody will stop and think about the white man. Right. I learned about power, white power, how powerful whites are. All of those things. Is that, because that was the lesson, right? That is the lesson about white identity politics is that no matter how powerful you might be as a certain subsect of the population, no matter how your made up racial designation that encaptures all of the races that you have declared or all the ethnic backgrounds that you have declared to be white, no matter how much it changed throughout history, one thing remains the same, and that is that white people are powerful. It's the in-group. It's the dominant group. So that's what I've learned. That's what I. That's what Twitch expects me to do. Right? Isn't that what Twitch expects me to do? Be a white identitarian? Welcome back, 16 months, Spog. So here I am doing advocacy for the white race which is a race apparently it's a it's a real race Being that's what many people told me brain. earnestly honestly months, over the internet months. they said white people are a well-defined clearly outlined race of individuals and you should protect them you should protect the whites how would you protect the whites considering uh white genocide which is a very real thing i learned okay how would you protect them? How would you stop white genocide? Of course, shutting off immigration, right? 
stopping brown and black people from immigrating into the country. That's how you protect the white race. It's not a real race. It's a made-up race built around purity. Monk the brain rot. I want you all to understand. If you're in here waiting for me to get banned, if you're in here to clip chimp, and if you are at the precipice, okay, if you're not like legitimately a piece of shit, like many people are on the internet, unfortunately, but if you're in the margins and you saw a lot of people make good arguments about just don't make fun of white people, what the f dude? So how do you, how do you defend a marginalized group? How do you? Big 10 month anniversary hassle, hassle, How do you hassle. defend those who have historically been as an entire group, the oppressors, how do you defend them without coming across like a white supremacist, fascist, reactionary piece of shit? You can't. All of blitz, these sir. ideas that were pushed by that have been stolen historically from actually marginalized groups to adopt their struggle and to steal their language and to use it upon themselves to use it for themselves as though white people are truly marginalized that entire movement is created both historically and in contemporary society by racist reactionary fascist pieces of shit so if you consider yourself to be a woke person of the caucasian variety and you find yourself thinking wow these guys are making a lot of good arguments why can't you just not be racist against the whites dude it's so easy remember hoggy woggy at the heart of the argument is the reactionary stance that white people are a well-defined and often marginalized group of individuals and also understand that you are further advocating to i guess ban different okay. words such as and uh, to my knowledge these are not banned hillbilly hick mayonnaise monkey vanilla gorilla and numerous other kinds of words are honky whitey numerous other kinds of words redneck that are used in common vernacular okay you want to ban the word karen many people let's colonizer is another one many people who have advocated in the past to be able to say the n-word <laughs> are unironically doing exactly what they hated right supposedly becoming annoying sjw ass libs okay right that's what you guys are like, doing when you do this what did i miss is it true that you got on band exactly 8 21 p.m yes i did i i did that is true this is absolutely true. I did get unbanned at 8.21 p.m. There's plenty of slurs to ban the R slur, the B slur. Let's get rid of them all. No, I disagree. Anyway, folks, that's all I wanted to say about this. Let's go okay. back, hassle, hassle, That's hassle. all I wanted to say. Uh, it feels incredible to be back. Uh, for those of you who uh, fought hard in the trenches and probably had to deal with a bunch of pieces of shit, okay? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going to be tweeting that I'm live right now. Um, there's so much to come today. There's a lot going on. I still can't believe your first ban since 821 was for saying saltine. Yes. Do I just twitch delete all your VODs after each ban? I don't know. It's really annoying. You can literally generate a slur out of thin air if you tried. Yeah straight up so uh i'm sorry if they if people were just being fucking psychotic to you guys i'm sorry if i let you down if i uh, you know if you were looking forward to my streams uh and you were not able to do that um you were not able to watch i i apologize i feel terrible not being able to stream and uh congratulations to the to the weirdos 
Nice. Not that this actually matters because my mental health diminishing as a consequence of not being able to stream was significantly worse. But you did it. You 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 caused financial uh, uh, financial setback. Not that it matters ultimately because I have you know enough money. Don't get me wrong. But you did. I went from fifty three thousand subscribers to forty five thousand as of now. But it was forty two thousand yesterday. So congratulations to all of the Nazis. That was 10,000 subs. You did it. You did it. I want you to take this dub. I, I want you to take this dub go. and feel Thanks good about it. it. Not that it matters ultimately because like only 45,000. Are you kidding me? But you know, I was able to consistently go out to bat for something I believe in. Anyway, I keep forgetting that I'm, uh, I, I'm live and that I should tweet that I'm live. I have learned from my mistakes and believe the white race needs to be defended thank you which i'm gonna add them to that's what they want they want me to defend the white race dude that's what i'm doing baby let's go right how are you gonna do that that's the point guys that's the fucking point hey if you like this video please subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos <laughs>